In this video, we will explain the law of total probability. Consider the sample space S. Let's consider event B and B complement. B complement means the opposite of B, or B does not happen. Let's consider another event A. We are interested in calculating the probability of A. Now, we can divide A into two pieces. The first piece is A intersects B. The second piece is A intersects B complement. We can see that these two pieces are disjoint and they add up to the entire A. So probability of A can be written as probability of A intersects B plus probability of A intersects B complement. Now, let's apply the multiplication rule of probability. So this is equal to probability of A given B multiply P of B plus probability of A given B complement multiply by P of B complement. This is commonly referred to as law of total probability. We can actually make this, make this more general. Now consider the sample space S and consider a partition of S which we divide the S into many pieces, which is B1, B2, and Bn, where this B1 to Bn are disjoint, and also they add up to the sample space S. Let's consider event A. Now, used, using the same argument that we have before, we can prove that P of A is equal to P of A intersects B1, plus probability of A intersects Bn. Again, if we apply the multiplication rule, this is also equal to P of A given B1, multiply P of B1 plus P of A given Bn, multiply P of Bn. This is the general form of a law of total probability. Next, let's look at some examples. There are two bags that each contain 10 marbles. Bag one has seven black and three white marbles. Bag two has six black and four white marbles. You choose one of the bags at random and then pick a marble from the chosen bag also at random. What is the probability that the chosen marble is black? Let's first define the events. Event A equals chosen marble is black. B1 equals bag 1 chosen. B2 equals back to chosen. We try to calculate the probability of A. Now, we know there are two possibilities before you choose a black marble. The first possibility is that you choose the first bag, and the second possibility, you choose the second bag. And there are only two possibilities. So based on the law of the total probability, probability of A is equal to probability of A given that you choose the first bag, multiply by the probability of choosing the first bag, plus the probability of A, given that you choose the second bag, multiply by the probability of choosing the second bag. This is the law of a total probability. Okay, 
So now let's first figure out what each item is. So P of A given B1, this is the probability of choosing a black marble given that you choose the first bag. So according to the problem here, bag one has seven blacks. So which means that if you choose, given that you choose the first bag, the probability of picking a black marble or the probability of A given B1 is equal to seven divided by 10. So the first item here is a seven divided by 10. Now P of B1 is the probability of picking the first bag because the bag is randomly pick, uh, picked. So this is equal to one half. Now probability of A given B2 or the probability of getting a black marble given a sec second bag is chosen. So according to the problem, bag two has a six blacks. So the probability of A given B2 or the probability of getting a black marble given the second bag is chosen is a six divided by 10. So this item here is equal to six divided by 10. Again, P of B2, because the bag is randomly chosen, so the probability of picking the second bag is one half. So now we have all the items here. Let's calculate. So this is equal to seven divided by 10, multiply one half, plus six divided by 10, multiply by one half. So this is equal to 13 divided by 20. Thank you for watching.